sun has really come out since I first got here. <laughs> so this is a spot that me and my friends actually found by accident. It's a little bit busier now, it's summer holidays for the kids and it is also a Saturday and it's a beautiful day. Um, <laughs> I actually just spoke for like 20 or 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure I'm sunburnt on my back from it, to uh, one of the other guys that's here, like also swimming. And he was saying like he really loves, he really loves doing like camping and he likes survival kinds of stuff. He was like, yeah, like I, I often like find and catch snakes, even like mamushi, which is like the most deadly snake in Japan. He'll like catch them, kill them and then eat them. <laughs> which is insane and he was like yeah my friends were telling me i should start a youtube channel i'm like you should absolutely start a youtube channel that's fucking crazy ah but anyway beautiful spot i might jump in once more before i go because it's really nice driving along and then I saw this antique store. I want to say <laughs> and being served tea in a tiny little antique shop in the middle of Japan. Wow. I'm really glad I stopped for this. I spent so long in that store, <laughs> way longer than I thought I would. I did buy a couple of things. I don't know if I need them, will ever need them or anything like that, but I just couldn't walk away without buying something. Got some of these like awesome like postcards and then also just like this little vase. I think he said it's from like hospitals and stuff, like it's used to hold medicine, but maybe I can use it as like a tiny little vase to hold a flower or something cute. <laughs> ah, road trip's off to a good start. <laughs> I say road trip, it's like 5 p.m. and I'm like, I need to find a campsite. Oh no! Oh man, last night was a bit of a failure. 
Um, also, I'm sorry for the massive bags under my eyes. Yeah, last night was a total failure. So the, the camping spot that I was planning to go to, I don't know why I just didn't take into account the fact that it's a Saturday and everything was busy. So um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's fine. Like I'll just drive around and find somewhere else, you know? Not really accounting for the fact that I don't really have much internet on my phone. So I couldn't really look up many places. And then I was driving around to spots and then it like just didn't work out. And then I go to another place and then it was full. And then the sun went down and then it was pitch black and I didn't get here until 8 30 p.m. so I didn't get to show you like setting up the tent and all of that and like cooking dinner and everything but that's okay today is another day and I know that I'm going to a really good camping spot tonight so I'll, I'll show everything then um, but yeah this is the inside of the rooftop tent it's the first time actually sleeping in it and it's so so much more comfortable than a regular tent. The only one thing that I wasn't really expecting was that um, camping by yourself in the middle of an area that you're not really familiar with, uh, where you're the only one there, it's uh, it's actually kind of scary. <laughs> I was I was like very freaked out last night. I know Japan's a very safe country, obviously, but you know there's bad people everywhere in the world, and I am a solo female. Maybe it's just something I need to get used to. I don't know. Should I get used to it? <laughs> anyway, it's time for some breakfast and then I can show you what a miserable camping spot I found last night. <laughs> All right, so as of one person, it's a little more difficult than I thought, but I mean, obviously, I'm not used to packing it away yet, so I'm assuming that it's going to get easier. I hope I'll figure it out. I need to be independent. <laughs> Would have been a way better camping spot <laughs> had I known about it further in advance. Oh, oh I really have to pee.
traffic on this bridge here and then the, the lane passing me caught my eye initially it's a massive like FJ cruiser huge wheels big lift uh, big bull bar and everything and I was like shit that's a good car and then the one behind it was a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon white a winch lift again like massive bull bar and another Jeep behind it and then like two cars down there was this huge <laughs> fucking massive like Tundra I don't know what what brand Tundra is but it was so big also with a winch and a lift and wheels and like all this extra stuff it was so funny though because like as we're driving past you can tell we're, <laughs> we're both just like looking at each other like nice 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 just like checking out <laughs> what what gear is on the car and like we're all like give each other the thumbs up so funny wow I've never experienced that before because I've never had a cool car before <laughs> but also I didn't see the number plate so I want to like ask them like where are you guys from like why do you have such a hectic setup and where are you driving because I want to drive where you're driving <laughs> how good it's fun having a cool car I get it now <laughs> oh boy <laughs> So this is what I was hoping to film last night, but I didn't plan accordingly. <laughs> fun on this trip and I hope that you can tell that from the video I even had a lot of fun editing it and everything like that I'm gonna talk about the locations of all the places and you know my thoughts on overlanding in Japan and all of that my first trip uh, but first I would like to talk about this video sponsor which is Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a royalty free demand driven library full of millions of different assets in 4k and HD that you can use on any different projects commercial or personal they have an unlimited all access plan which gives you free reign to download any of the 1 million plus assets that they've got available on their website so you can can try a bunch of different things out before you find the perfect fit and it just allows you for the most amount of freedom to use whatever it is they've got on their site and they've got videos and photos and graphics and you know titles and effects and all kinds of different things literally whatever it is you want to be creating in a video Storyblocks has got you covered and it's not just for youtubers as well it's for big large companies and and media agencies and that kind of thing it's really the most free kind of license that you can ever get on some really high quality assets Storyblocks has a bunch of subscriptions to suit any kind of budget so if you'd like to get started go to storyblocks.com slash currently Hannah thank you so much to Storyblocks for being such a long time great wonderful sponsor of this channel um yes so I hope that you were able to tell how much I was really enjoying this trip because I don't know there was something so special about it it's like everything that I was like working towards all of the effort we Chris and I put into building the back of it out and getting the rooftop tents and everything set up you know we did all of it by ourselves and it was just really fun to be able to try it all out for the first time yeah it just felt right everything about this trip felt right and I felt like it really suited me and I I felt like I not like ticked something off my list but I'd like started something that I'm really looking forward to doing more of in the future yeah anyway so the locations that I went to so the first place that I went to I, I mentioned it previously it's like right next to Lake Biwa on the other side of the mountains called Addo River uh, so lovely really really nice place to swim I'm not sure where that little spot that I stopped at for breakfast was I'm sorry I've got no idea I, I just kind of like stopped on the side I'm gonna have to pin all these locations that I randomly stop at. Um, but that waterfall that I went to is called Iwamon Waterfall. I've been wanting to go there for a while. I've, I've just got pins all over my Google Maps in Japan and, and it's great. Like I can just kind of drive around and tick all of these little like pins and places off my list. Um, the camping spot at the end, kind of torn here. I kind of don't, I don't want to say it because I love it so much and it's just so, so beautiful and I don't want it to get overcrowded. Uh, but I will tell you, it is on the Nagara, Nagara? Nagara? 
Nagaragawa, Nagaragawa, Na Nagara River. It's along there. You could probably find it if you like searched on Google Maps for that kind of area. I didn't show too much else from my camping at the second location because I've shown it a couple of times in my video. It's gonna to be too repetitive, but uh, yeah, I really love that spot. It's beautiful. Um, and that's it. That's all that I've got to say. Would you like to say hi? Hi, is the recording? Yeah. You wanna say hi? <laughs> Subscribe to youtube.com. Have you ever been in a position where you don't have time and you don't have the right shots? Well, Storyblocks is <laughs> covered. Yeah. Storyblocks, Squarespace, Tokyo Treat. Not Squarespace, not for a while. For like a year. Okay. I know, I have to pay for my own subscription now. <sighs> <laughs> like the rest of us. <laughs>